Hey guys, welcome back. In my last video I showed you my new hot air rework station and in today's video we are going to do a bit of SMD soldering. I bought this thing over here. This was advertised as a 15 channel lantern circuit, whatever this is supposed to mean. And it's a kit uh, that is designed uh, to learn SMD soldering. And I'm really interested to see what the circuit actually does. The only information I have is that after soldering you're supposed to hook it up to a 5 volt supply and uh, then it should do something, but I don't know what. And so in this video we are going to solder the circuit, we'll see what it does in the end. And this is also another test for my hot air rework station, as well as a test for this over here. Now this is some solder paste. Now, I already tried this over here, but I'm really eager to see how well it performs with all of these components over here. And to get all the components necessary with the kit, and I already uh, noted down all the components, sizes, and where they are supposed to go. So what I'm going to do is apply solder paste, set the components on top, reflow everything, and you will have a really close-up from above. There's a mystery device that I uh, built. No, I didn't really build. I modified something. So I do have a microscope or something that acts as a microscope. And we will see how good this thing performs. There will be a video about this. Just uh, for now that I'm going to do this instead of the modification of the mystery device over here. Once the video is uh, released, I will blend in a link over here. Without further ado, let's start!
Okay, I finished soldering and I'm missing one component. This was not included into the package. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. And uh, yeah, not everything did go as planned. Um, for one, I had to remove my smartphone. It was just uh, in the way uh, while I was soldering. So I really hope the footage of my new microscope is usable. And if not, that would be a real problem. Also the solder paste that I expected it to not work with the heat gun. Uh, but I wanted to try it either way. So it would work but just uh, component after component. And if you want to do multiple things at once. It's more convenient to just use the soldering iron, get solder onto the pads, and then hold the component in place and refloat with the heat gun. Yeah, solder paste is more designed for like infrared heating or any uh, heating uh, like um, in an oven or something like this. It's not really designed for hot air reguns, uh, hot air guns or hot air reflow stations uh, like this one that moves air, but I wanted to try it, it did not work, so not a big deal. And yeah, that's uh, how it looks. Now, for the most part, um, I think, yeah, I, I have to practice a bit more. That's not, the solder joints are not perfect. Some of these components over here are flipped. It doesn't make a difference, it's just a thing of looks. This LED got discolored and these LEDs are a bit of a problem because I found out while soldering I had no idea how to put them in. The product page and here's a address of the home page is in Chinese and even Google Translate was unable to translate Chinese or rather this to make any sense so I have no instruction on this and I hope I uh, did solder the LEDs the right way around. I'm not sure, but we will see. I will hook up some uh, 5 volt as it was um, at uh, well, it was advertised, and you have to um, hook up 5 volt to it, and it should do something. And we will see if it does anything. And I will also insert a I think it's a 1K 102. Yeah, one no. 1, 2, 3, it's a 12K resistor, so I have to search for a 12K resistor. I will just use a THT component, remove the legs and sort it in place. And that should be fine. So I will do that and come back afterwards. Alright, I soldered a 13K resistor in place. I don't have any 12K resistors and I didn't want to uh, make one by... Like, I do have plenty of 10K and 12... Uh, and, and 1k resistors I could make a 12k but I think the one kilo or more resistance shouldn't do anything and I also hooked up two cables and we will now power it on and hope it doesn't blow up and does anything. I set the voltage to 5 volt with 200 milliamps and fire in the hole. It does absolutely nothing. Okay that's uh, a bit Sad. I don't think I did anything wrong with the circuit. Um, all the components should be soldered in place. But let's double check. Okay, I just used a bit of flux and solder and uh, tried to resolder all of these joints over here. Just solder on the tip, flux, and go over all these uh, legs of the components with the ICs. And maybe we will see anything. Well, let's turn it on. And again, nothing, no current draw. But let's take a look at the voltages. Maybe I soldered all of the LEDs the wrong way around. Minus sh should be here. Plus should be here. Am I correct? Yes, I am correct. 2.4 volts. Which means the marking is wrong of these LEDs. And here I expect that the upper to be plus and the lower to be minus. Am I correct? There's no voltage. 
No, there is voltage. What? Wait, there's no voltage. So these LEDs are definitely the wrong way around. Although the marking says that they go in this direction, I have to flip them. I will do that. Okay, I resoldered the lower LEDs and yes, they lit up. One is broken, one is now missing. I lost one and the other one is broken. The other one, they do light up. And when I first tested, they were blinking and the upper ones, they did nothing. Now I flipped also the upper ones and now there are a few lit up and a few are not doing anything. And, uh, well, <laughs> let's take a look. So, when I hook power up, I will turn it on. That's what it does. And uh, that looks a bit weird, so yeah, one missing, one broken, the other ones are com uh, are always lit. Here are three not lighting up and the other ones are lighting up. I thought, well, maybe it has something to do with turning it off and on again, but no, it's always the same. So either the upper ones are broken or I don't know. I have no idea what this circuit is supposed to be. Um, but to be honest, I did not look up the two controllers over here, so I don't know what they are. It's just a practice kit for SMD soldering, and this video is essentially me trying to solder SMD components and also testing my new microscope. So I hope you liked this small video. It was nothing special, just me playing around with this circuit over here. I still am not sure what this is supposed to be. And I honestly don't care. This was a practice for me, practicing soldering SMT components. We have these uh, 1206, 1206? Yeah, 1206 over here. They are no problem. A weight of five. This is the smallest I can solder, even with a soldering iron. But even with a hot air rework station 0603, like these over here, they are really difficult. Everything else, everything bigger, no problem. These and these capacitors, that's really tedious. So I hope you liked this small video and if you did, please leave a like, comment down below. And other than that, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!